Okay guys, I'm just going to run through on how to add a signature to MacMail. First thing we want to do is just go to the MacMail program and head up to Mail, Preferences, and then we start off in Email Signatures. What I'm going to do is just add a new one, I'm just going to call it Coronas. And that's basic on there, and I'm just going to drag that into the Exchange account. You can do the same thing so that now appears there, and I'm also going to set that as the default signature for that account. Okay, nice and simple. We close out of that, and we want to quit out of MacMail. So you want to right click, go quit, and make sure the little light underneath the icon is no longer on. So we've got our file here. This is from Dropbox, the HTM file. And what we want to do is right click on here and go open with text edit. So in text edit, we want to head up to the top left and go to preferences. And there's just one option we've got to change so it shows up as plain text. And that's just an open and save area, and we're just going to hit that top one and get out of there and close the document as well. And we also want to quit text edit. So let's just check the icon no longer down there. And we'll open it with text edit again. And you'll see this time it shows up very differently. And all you want to do is just grab all this text here. Right click, copy, get out of that document then. And now what we want to do is just make sure Finder is highlighted and we can just hold the little option button until that library option appears. Just click on that, that'll open up this folder. You want to head to the mail folder, D2, mail data, and down to signatures. Now, what you'll see is it'll create one of these files with a lot of letters and numbers. Now, what you want to do is just grab the latest file. So, you might want to change how you're doing your file. And you've got date and times up here. So, the latest one I've done is that bottom one there. And that's the latest one I added in the Mac Mail. So, what you want to do is open this one with Text Edit as well. And you'll probably have to go open with other, go to the applications, find Text Edit. And here you have the same with the text as last time. What you want to do is just get rid of this body bit and just delete that text. Maybe just that bit's left. And you want to paste what we copied before. And just file, save that. Now, this is important. We have to right click on the file and go to Get Info. And we need to change it to a locked file so when Mac now opens again, it doesn't want to change it to the default text. So that little locked, locked tick box. Just there. That's all you need to do. You just close out of that, and then you can start mail again. And when you go to the email, it will show up as the new email. And it's that simple. Thank you.